picking everything up. Saying goodbye to our apartment in Chiang Mai. Almost done packing. Yep, about to close the suitcases. Gonna miss that view. We really enjoyed this place. Mm -hmm. Can you see my pink eye? Saying goodbye is never easy. Goodbye, Chiang Mai, for now. Good morning. <laughs> it's currently 6.58 a.m. I slept about an hour on the bus. Actually, it hasn't been too bad. But it's pretty nice. The seats go almost all the way back, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, we'll check in when we get to Nong Kai. Heavy, uh, took to, <laughs> seriously thought we were going to do a, a wheelie when we took off. Look at all this. So we're in Nongkai, border town. And we are going to the Lao border right now to get our Lao visa and then we're going to go to the Thai consulate. <laughs> it's actually lifting it up. <laughs> it's not getting any power. It's super cold this morning. <laughs> Probably in the 60s, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like low 60s. Yeah. What's that in Celsius? Oh, it feels like 16. Yeah, it feels like 16 or 17 degrees. So we just went through Thai immigration. And uh, we're now waiting for our bus to cross the border to the beautiful country of Laos. Going to Vientiane, going to go to the Thai consulate there, apply for our tourist visa, and then we'll see what we do with the rest of the day. <laughs> we just gotta get all this done by 11.30, and it's 8.30 now. So don't fall for any of the tricks. Uh, there's gonna be taxis and tuk-tuks out front of the board of the uh, Thai side of the border, saying they'll take you all the way to Vientiane for 800 baht and all this bullcrap. All you have to do is go get your passport stamped out. You walk through, and 20 baht for the bus ticket that'll cross the bridge. So we got through a lot easier than we did last time. We were in and out in like 15 minutes. Yeah, like less than that. We only waited like five minutes for them to process it. But yeah. It took more time writing out the paperwork. So that's awesome because it took us like an hour last time or yeah. something like that. Anyways, we got a tuk, tuk truck. <laughs> it's like a tuk tuk, but it's a truck. <laughs> it's a truck truck. Yeah, truck truck. <laughs> and uh, 150 baht to get from the border all the way to the Thai consulate. I believe it is quite a, a little drive, like 20, 15, 20 minutes or something. So I, I guess it's not too bad, but just know you're always gonna pay more at the border, these sort of scenarios when they got you trapped. The price started at 400 baht, and we got it down to 150 altogether. We found this awesome restaurant right across the street. We're about to dig into a fresh bowl of pho. Mm. It's really fresh and authentic. And super excited. And we got a couple Lao beer, beer Lao, mm -hmm. which are super cheap, 50 baht, which is by far the cheapest beer we've 
bad at all, yeah. Yeah, for big beers, definitely. Like, Not bad. So yeah, look at all these veggies that came with the pho. Yeah. Alright, let's dig in. So we ended up going with the um, visa service that was outside of the embassy. I know, it was like a stupid touristy thing to do, but we were so tired of filling out paperwork. They did our photocopies, they did all the paperwork for us, filled out everything, everything except our signature, for uh, 75 baht each. It's a little bit expensive, but it saved us the hassle of filling out paperwork. Well, so after that, we went right inside the embassy. Which the line wasn't very bad at all. We were there for like 20 minutes. The lady checked our paperwork and uh, just put it in a basket. We come back tomorrow after 1.30 to get our stuff. If you're planning on doing going to Vientian and doing the tourist visa to get back into Thailand, plan on two days. One day to do the paperwork and you have to be here early. It's from 8.30 a.m. to 11.30. And then you come back the next day after 1.30 in the afternoon. What did you get? Pork fried rice. Mm. It has dropped off a fair. Oh my god. <laughs> it's kind of rocky. Feels like Mexico roads. Welcome to Lao. Welcome to Lao. Oh god. How about that right in? <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> I just realized that they drive on the right side of the road. Oh, they do. So we found a nice room. The wind, well, not nice, but we found a room. <laughs> <laughs> a private room. It's got Wi-Fi. That's all we need. Seven hundred baht for a night. Ugh, it's all right. We took a little nap, relaxed, changed clothes. Well, I did. And uh, we're gonna go get some food. So let's see what we can find. So far, we've noticed that things here in Vientiane are a little more expensive than our normal day-to-day -day in Thailand. A lot of that could be due to the fact that we're basically tourists again in a new country, so we don't know the cheap places, the cheap ways of doing things. The taxi's been more expensive. The, just the visa to get in was expensive. Uh, hotel's been more expensive, you know, food was pretty cheap, so hopefully the trend will continue with the food and the beer. Another thing we noticed about Laos in general is that there is a heavy French influence, similar to Vietnam. When we looked up places to eat, we saw tons of French restaurants. Uh, instead of calling their streets soys here, they call them rues, which is like in France, French term for street or road. So yeah, it's an interesting fact. Swedish pizza and baking house. So, beer Lao is pretty good. It's also gluten free, so if you have a gluten allergy, Beer Lao is going to be perfect for you. It's delicious. Yeah, we just got to Lao, so let's go to the Swedish restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> so I ordered Swedish meatballs and mashed potatoes, and she ordered beef stroganoff. Pretty cheap for like this Western food that they have here. It was just over ten dollars, and that included yeah. that included two big giant beers. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, just over ten dollars. I had to pay with a combination of bot and kip. Kip is the currency for Lao. I'm so used to Thai bot at this point that the kip... It feels seems... like Monopoly money. We're just yeah. like, I don't know what to do. 
do with this? There's so many zeros. Can we just drop some of the zeros? <laughs> Alright, so here's my beef stroganoff. It's a very interesting take on beef stroganoff. It's it, actually, they stir fry it in a wok and they serve it with rice. I'm really excited to try this. Oh my god, look at my Swedish meatballs and boiled potatoes in a salad. Holy cow. So, I'm finally getting my Swedish meatballs. <laughs> Remember how I tried so hard at Ikea? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright, so let's dig in. I couldn't finish my plate. Oh, there's so many veggies and so much food. Look, it's on a bicycle chain. Oh, that's so cool. I've never seen a rotisserie that fast. Like, the drippings don't have time to fall off the meat. It yeah. keeps getting put back on the meat when it rotates. <laughs> Alright, let's So we found more people playing this game. So we are not sure what the goal of the game is, but I think they're supposed to hit the other balls and make a spark. Yeah, because they like spark when they hit each other. With yeah. Sufficient force. There he goes. That's cool. These guys seriously have some balls. <laughs> balls of steel. So we're on our way to this fountain. Oh, no, we've been told it's like kind of like the touristy area. There's a lot going on down there. <laughs> but anyways, we've been told it's like a touristy area. Like a lot of things are around the fountain. And I think we're getting close because it looks like there's like a big government building right here or something. So we're walking and we're seeing what we can get into. And See what kind of trouble we can find. <laughs> we have arrived at the fountain. <laughs> it's so epic. It's, it's like, really it's like a normal fountain, and then there's like burst streams from the sides shooting into the main fountain. <laughs> and then there's some like twirling right there on the side. Oh, I think there's a live band out front. Let's check it out. What is this? It looks like meat. And this is a big knife next to it. A barrico ham with fruits. Like that's the meal. Happy Women's Day. Say Happy Women's Day. Happy Women's Day. Come to turn